Hi, my name is Brian Lancer, and we're here at the NAM 2012 Muse Research booth, where we have two big, exciting announcements. The Receptor 2 Pro and Pro Max are getting an entirely new software update called Muse OS 2.0. You can use the sound finder function in a Receptor 2 Pro and Pro Max by organizing your presets as tags and then selecting a tag a preset within a tag. So it's really, really easy to use the front panel now. But most exciting is the new user interface that comes with the product. There's a good picture of it there. Over on the left, we have our um, tags and presets that allow you to organize your sounds or your effects. And it's just a matter of, of finding a particular category of interest and then selecting a preset. And then that preset will automatically load the, the plugins into the rack mount mixer. This is a really convenient and uh, comfortable interface for people. You've seen it in products like Guitar Rig and Reason. So it's basically a virtual rack where you can load up all your plugins. What's particularly nice with the Receptor implementation is that you're immediately able to set up splits between the different channels. You're able to go into the individual plugins and select their presets. And if you want to edit a particular plugins interface, you simply click on the icon. It opens up the full interface so you can see it. Also unique is that the fact that we have two effects now that are in line in the stereo channel, either uh, um, configurable as inserts or effects, so or insert or sends, <laughs> and you can adjust the uh, wet dry control there on the um, insert effect. And if you set it into send mode, you control the uh, send amount through the mix effects uh, parameter on the individual channel. And then of course there's stereo output and um, you know the the rest like you'd expect. It's just a, uh, a very, very simple way of using plugins now. And if you start with a blank slate and want to uh, create a sound from scratch, you simply select what plugin you're interested in, drag it into the mixer area or into the rack area, and it automatically instantiates. So it's, it really is kind of a complete rethink of how people use plugins. We're making it easier, and of course, it's still built on the same stable platform of Receptor that powers so many bands, whether you're Death Cab for Cutie or, you know, Muse or Coldplay or Paul McCartney. So many of the big bands are used relying on Receptor to run their plugins. Now we're making it much, much simpler to use, so we expect now uh, everybody else to start using Receptor. The Receptor 2 Pro and Pro Max remain at their, um, their standard prices, and the, the Muse OS 2.0 uh, GUI update for the Receptor Pro and Pro Max uh, will be available next week, so shipping next week. So. Thanks for listening. I'm Brian. Have a good name.